I speak um, pretty regularly at this one college. It's the same college every year. And, and I noticed something. There was this girl on the worship team, and every time I came there, it seemed like she was different. Um, not, not like in a fake different, but it seemed like even though she's just one of the singers on the worship team, she would get more passionate, it seemed, every week. And I was surprised by that because, you know, I, I speak and I go to different places and I, I, it can get routine-ish. And so I, I finally approached her one day. I go, you know, even though you do this every week, it seems like it's really fresh to you every single week and it's new to you every week. And I, I just asked, how do you do that? And she said, something really interesting she goes she goes when i have like a great time with the lord and worship i never say god give me what i experienced last week duplicate what you do it again what you did last week she goes instead i say to him god you are a creator and would you create something new in my worship experience with you would you give me a whole new perspective of you this time when I when I worship? And I thought, ah, oh, that is so cool. I never thought of that aspect of God being a creator and wanting to create something new. And I thought, why don't I do that even uh, even when I pray, even when I have times alone with the Lord? Why why don't I just pray and say, God, this time when I pray to you, this time when I spend time alone with you, I want us to be more intimate than ever before. Would you create a whole new experience with you? Would you, would you expand my understanding of you? And it's pretty interesting. If we were to really do that and focus and put that type of effort into it, I just think, what would our relationships with God be like at the end of our lives?